My name is Victor McGuy, and this is my house. I live here by myself. I know what you're thinking. What a sad old man. And guess what? You're right. But unlike most men my age, I survived a Fortune City zombie outbreak. Sure, the rest of my street died, but I survived and moved to Mega City with the rest of these realmers. But why am I talking to you today? Why? It's simple. Today is the day I died. Mm. I often wondered what would happen after I died. Would anyone care? Would anyone think about me after I passed on? Well, I got to find out. And I must say, I was shocked. The first person to visit my grave was Wesker Birkin, self-proclaimed leader of the Realmers. It's his fault I was in this mess made me sign up to a five-year contract to be on some web series called Realm Life. The bloody thing never happened, and now I'm dead. Thanks, Wesker. <laughs> Next person to visit me was Erica. I don't know her last name. In fact, I don't know anything about the bloody woman. But she's paying her respects to the dead. Respecting her elders. I respect that. Like she respects m What the bloody... She used my grave as an excuse to visit the mausoleum. You bitch. Oh, well isn't it a turn up for the books? Crazy old Birkin left his lab to come and wish me farewell. Well, I don't really have a problem with William. He always seemed like a nice enough chap to me. He is a bit bloody crazy. For example, Jelb. Jelb. What? Ah, young Delaney. It's nice to see a young girl upset about me. Can't remember the last time I had that reaction with a woman. Still, I don't mind Delaney. She's always been nice and kind to me. I even shared my Werther's originals with her. Such a nice young lass. If only she wasn't shacked up with that Shane Vincent. Oh god, there he is. I might have been a little harsh on Shane. He's quite a nice chap once you get to know him. Bit of a hopeless romantic, really. Still, that's hard to find nowadays. And at least he came to respect me. Oh, this could be interesting. Shane's ex? Tiffany? No. You know, I always thought those two would have been together forever, but... Something happens. I don't know what. No one tells the old guy what happened between them. Still. Tiffany's always been good to me. Sure, she's never been happy. She's always had mood swings, but you know what? I like a woman with power. And man, she kicked a lot of ass. In fact, look at her go. Oh, Shane, Tiffany, fighting on top of my grave. Clearly the greatest respect I could ask for. Stupid ass youngsters.
Ah, finally. Here come some people who will respect me. Good old Reg Zanacor. Old Reg has been like a son to me. I like to feel I've put him on the right path. I feel my voice has guided him to bigger and better things. And I hope one day he gets his film made. Then there's his brother, Chunkmeister. I know he might be over there fishing, but I like to feel that his fishing is his way of wishing me well. Oh, Chunky, you're one of a kind. I have absolutely no idea who this asshole is. So I suppose that's it. That's all the respect I get from these guys. I give them my twilight years. And they can't even give me one full episode. You know, I'd like to think that maybe somewhere down the line I could come back and help them. But the way I see things, karma's a real bitch. It's an right, Erica. down left with nothing in this empty room these walls start disintegrating and cracks of light are shining through for once in my life i can see what's true i'm not afraid i won't give in to the darkness that Suffer!